morning, good morning. This is Pixie doing another video. How are you? Hope you're doing that one. Let's zoom it in a little bit. Oh, there you go. So, just a quick talk really about sort of fasting. So, when first people get into fasting, it's usually could be to deal with a health problem or they want to lose weight or something like that. And you learn a lot as you go along. So some of the factors from dieting, the diet aspect of it, is that you're, it's about calorie control. Um, restricting, not necessarily. <coughs> because you can eat what you should be eating as an allowance in a day and be losing weight, which I'll come into in a sec. So you learn a kind of like calorie control. Um, people talk about restricting calories in, calories out. That only works if you're exercising, and sure you burn a certain amount of calories anyway, um, naturally, but you're not really worried about, like if you went to the gym and you think you've burnt 300 calories, and you've eaten a certain amount a day, then you would, that would be the, the calorie, calorie out, out and in uh, model, that doesn't really work. So it's more about calorie control, which is you're aware of what you're taking in, and um, then it's also sort of time, maybe restriction, utilisation, um, and time control. So you're not eating all the time, you're eating when it's, it's suitable, but no different than a thermostat. You, you turn it on certain parts of the day, you don't have it on all day long. And um, how you utilise uh, a resource, so that's that's one of the things like your metabolism. And, uh, and then you get into more into the hormones as you go along, and you realise your body changes composition, you're more sensitive to food, you're less sensitive to other things, you're more tolerant maybe I should say of certain foods, so you, you utilise a different programme of thinking. And then you come into the next phase, I think you realise that inflammation plays a massive role in it. Because you could eat a small amount of something that you're allergic, to, slightly intolerant to, and it's going to have two things, you can make you lose a lot of weight quickly because your body's just going to flush it out and you're not going to get any nutritional benefit from it, or it make you um, inflame and you'll end up with water retention, so a lot of it's water retention. So in different phases, you look at the calorie control, because if you're in, in, in a sort of maximum intake, you're going to obviously, at some point, your body's going to look to store it. Um, if you're in a minimum, it's going to look to burn some of it, but it's going to look to regain some of it as well, because if you're doing it in a regular pattern of, of under-eating, um, over-eating, you'll create all sorts of... Um, Basically, it, it, the, it utilises a bit of a wave to your body if you're trying to put on calories when you're eating, overeating, and when it's undereating, it'll be hopefully trying to burn the calories. But as you get older, you might have problems with your hormones, so you might not be able to do this so well. Because if you're eating, it's spiking one way and it's dropping the other, it's a bit, it's a bit confusing for your body as a model. So there's lots of things to learn about food, but it's really about you. And, and that's one of the things is, when you're eating, what you're eating, and the effect it has on your body. That's, that's probably the, the prime areas to focus on. And then you look at what's successful as well, because you want to use a model that works well with you. So most certain foods you might be very good at digesting or make you feel a certain way. And then not everything else like mental well-being comes into it. It could be that you um, end up um, removing items out of your food and then re certain them in there, so you simplify your diet. I mean, some other people would use different, different terminology. Um, elimination diet, that's what I'm trying to look for problems. So that's one element. Anyway, so I've moving on from there, I mean, I've started suffering from some inflammation. I realise sugar, sugar really does cause a lot. Of inflammation internally, and um, so I need to restrict a window when I eat sugar. I mean, I could, I cannot do a warrior diet. I could do an OMAD. It depends what you're trying to do. OMAD. The only issue with OMAD is you lose a lot of weight, but you could become more sensitive to trying to put the weight on because you're pushing yourself a little bit too hard. That's how much you're eating in that window. If you're finding you can eat a good amount, then maybe you'd be fine. That's what you're eating. But you might find it difficult, or other issues might might occur in, potentially. 
I mean, it's a brilliant m method of um, fasting. It's just that I think with everything, there's pros and cons, and that's that's what I'm trying to say. I'm, trying, I'm not trying to say there's negatives here, there's positives here. It, it's more that it's um, a balance, and it's figuring out how that balance works for you. So you might like lose lose weight, loads of weight, but then you might um, you might gain it in a different way. You might start putting on muscle. So that comes back to what you're eating. So if you're eating, um, so you're in carnival, you may find your weight fluctuating a bit and then you'll start bulking up with uh, muscle and um, re reducing the fat because your body now knows it has a high protein intake of um, fats and it can um, it can basically use draw it from the muscle if it needs to but then it leaves you in a position where your body might utilize that so the next phase I'm doing is also yoga so the reason you put on fat in certain areas of your body is because they're stagnant they don't move around a lot, like my neck's not really moving, so that could get big. But it gets a bit big here anyway for some reason. I did have a bigger neck in the past when it was heavier. Um, or your belly, so you're not really bending. You might be bending down your legs a lot, but you're not doing a lot of midsection work, twisting and all sorts of things. But there are other ways, and there's other things, internal work as well. So I've started utilising um, vacuum type um, methods of yoga. And I'm pretty making, I'm making my own system. That's what's happening. So I'm doing a lot of things like I'm stretching the gut. So I might be blowing it, pushing it outwards, and I'm sucking it inwards. And I mean, at the moment it feels kind of sore, but I found out when I pushed it outwards, it relaxed. So I was stretching it, strengthening it. And there's other areas of the body as well. So any any part of your body that you can kind of twitch the muscles or manipulate. So there's places in your groin as well, sphincter, if you can twitch them type of muscles, you can squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. It might seem a bit weird, but you're, it makes sense as you practice it. You're basically trying to utilize better control over your internal organs and guts and stuff. Go back a bit. So, um, yeah, it's like this exercise to do with my throat. So, so that's it. You can do other things, like if you hold your nose, you can. Um, within the cavity there it helps your sinuses actually so you might blow or you might have it restricted with your too much air you might be suction so you might be negative or positive you're using it to try to strengthen your sinuses clear them out it's like your ears and stuff you, you can't usually get into you don't overdo it but you might want to build up strength but i've only really just started today well i started yesterday evening um the plan is to keep going um do it every day and then see where it goes. It's a bit like walking, that's why people lose weight, because they're starting to utilise the whole of their body and they're walking around. If they sat down, you know, they could lose a lot of weight in their stomach, but they might have a fat fat thighs or backside. Um, stuff like that. So, um, I think walking is very good for women. I think they naturally might do a lot of it anyway. They utilise the hips, hip motions more, see, it's um, more for lifting weights. Or if you get bingo wings, you need to... Um, you're lifting weights and doing things with your arms so because that part isn't being used enough and so therefore it's your body said well this is a good place to put fat because it doesn't they don't bend her arms much she tends to move her hips rather i mean say for a bloke blokes might get developed that or they might get man boobs because they've got potentially they would have muscle there but not doing anything with their chest so you can learn to twitch these muscles <laughs> it's hard for me to do you know like bodybuilders they they do like um twitch so it's a little bit like your arm, you can utilise these muscles. Just do um, sets of them, basically. And the thing is, when you twitch them, you can control the, the, the um, tension. So you might use a heart, you might build up new stronger tension with it. Um, it's a kind of uh, muscle, neuro muscle control, basically. Anyway, it's just a big sign off from this, and uh, basically I'll keep at it. There's no point in me to report anything back until I've done it maybe for over a couple of months how it makes me feel, I like the throat one, will that make it better here, better control here?
will I start to um, utilise fat on my throat. I'm still maintaining um, like a nomad fasting lifestyle, I guess. Um, I'm just trying to I have to fiddle around with it. I've obviously let things slip a little bit. And something I've had is I think it's caused, well, at the moment my stomach's upset a little bit for something I've eaten. And um, someone picked up, they said, they said oh, you look, look like you're quite... Um, like you're putting a lot of weight, and this woman's quite honest. So I've used that um, criticism. I realise a lot of it's um, to do with um, inflammation in the body, so I just need to get my inflammation back down, because you can't lose weight if you're all inflamed. You might lose weight rapidly, though, when it does shift, because um, the water weight isn't quite the same as carrying around um, lots of additional proteins and fats and so on. But the, the but majority of them is made out of water, so it's more complicated. Um, anyway, this is a big sign up from the video. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon, mate.